invest in training. Now, training your brain is actually pretty easy to do in a very short period of time and give yourself a really amazing workout. So one thing I used to do with my son in line at the grocery store is just kind of do some hand play, hand fighting, you know, and he would, I would put my hands out and I would like show two fingers. And if I showed two fingers, he had to hit that, those two fingers. But if I only showed one finger, then no. And then I would, I would switch hands and all that and do these different decision-making drills with him. And so you can do it that way. Nowadays with VR and AR, there are a lot more opportunities to train. I mean, I think you're seeing a lot more football quarterbacks who are using virtual reality to, you know, read defenses and make good throws. When your coach is doing something with you that helps you with your reaction time and with your thinking on the court, that's a great thing. I have a friend who is the mental coach for the Los Angeles Clippers. And one thing that she does with that team is she has the players imagine scoring millions of points. <laughs> All right. So to come up with some fantastical performance that's out of this world. It was before they had that big comeback win against the Warriors in the playoffs a couple of years ago. And she had just introduced this idea of scoring millions of points. And they were down, I think, by 30 or something like that. It was one of the biggest comebacks in playoff history. They started to feel it. They really, they all of a sudden, everybody on the team got into this place where they couldn't miss. Here's one thing that's going to help. There's this thing called Brain HQ, and it's offered by something called Posit Science, P-O-S-I-T Science. It was developed by the aforementioned uh, Michael Merzenich. And it's an app that you can get for free. And I'll tell you what, you do one five minute exercise and you know you've done something. And it's actually kind of funny. It's sort of like a little video game. And the thing that makes it so challenging is the better you do, the more difficult it gets very quickly. But if you start to struggle, it slows down a little bit and it takes you right to your challenge level. And man, I do one of those for about five minutes and I'm, and I'm just like, oh man, I just got a workout. So you're gonna wanna take a break right after that. There's a book that I would say, not only do you wanna read it, but you want everybody you care about to read it. And it's called The Brain That Changes Itself. And if you're a coach, I strongly urge you to read this book, The Brain That Changes Itself, because it, it, it gets into all the different ways that the brain has amazing abilities to overcome various problems. So one thing you may or may not know about me um, is that I have had uh, numerous um, brain traumas. So I've had concussions from playing football, and then also two major car accidents where I had whiplash and I was just talking to somebody the other day and they say, yeah, if you have whiplash, that's three times the force necessary to create a, a really bad concussion. So if you have ever been in a car accident and had whiplash, I'm going to say 99% more chance that you've had a really major concussion. That's something that you need to, to pay attention to. There's a really funny thing, though, about changing your mindset. Invest in your training, in your mindset. So, you know, if if you're the kid, like I've been the kid who talks back to coaches or who argues with teammates or thinks they're smarter than other people or amazingly entertaining, change your mind. And the, it's funny, the word repent which you you may have heard the word repent before, but you know what's funny about that word? All it means is to change direction. It means to go the other way. So right now you can make a commitment to be the kid who pays attention the most. And it might catch people off guard if all of a sudden you're changing your attitude and, and going all out and paying full attention. I'm guessing if you've tuned into this, you're probably already 
in the top 10 to 1% on your team if you're here paying attention here. So you have that going for you. Next slide, please.